Hello, my storytime friends. Today we're going to read The Berenstein Bears and the Biggest Brag, written by Mike Berenstein. If you have a copy, go ahead and get it so you can read along with me. Brother and Sister Bear were talented young cubs. They were good at all sorts of things and they worked hard at the things they were good at. They studied hard at school, they practiced hard at sports, they put a lot of time and effort into art and music, they even put a lot of brain power into playing games. Brother and sister were proud of their talents, they were proud of all their hard work and effort. As a matter of fact, brother and sister were so proud of their talents that they sometimes bragged about them. They bragged about them mostly to each other, and it seemed to Mama and Papa they were always trying to top one another. I got an A in math, brother bragged to sister. Well, smarty, sister bragged back, I got an A+. Plus. I scored a goal in my soccer game, sister bragged to brother. Oh yeah, brother bragged back, I scored the winning goal in my game and set up another goal with a corner kick. Really, said Mama, can't you two stop your endless bragging and boasting? You're both very talented cubs. Why do you have to top each other? Besides, said Papa, it's not a loving thing for a brother and sister to do. You know what the Bible says about love. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. But brother and sister still felt they had to be the best at everything, and they went right on with their bragging, boasting ways. One day after school, brother and sister were taking a well-deserved rest from all their hard work. They stopped at the top of a hill on their way home and lay in the soft grass looking up at the puffy white clouds. Brother and sister imagined they saw shapes in the clouds. You know, said sister, that cloud up there looks like a big fluffy sheep. It did indeed look like a fleecy white sheep grazing in a great blue meadow. Well, said brother, I think that cloud over there looks like a galloping white horse. Sister had to admit it looked a lot like a horse. Brother's galloping white horse seemed more interesting than her fleecy white sheep. So she looked around for something better. I think that cloud over there looks like a dragon breathing fire and smoke, she said. Hmm, said brother. At first he didn't see it, but the more he looked, the more it did look like a dragon. He was a little annoyed. Seeing a fire breathing dragon in a cloud was a lot better than a galloping white horse. Oh yeah, he said. Well, I think the cloud next to it looks like a knight in armor fighting the dragon. He thought some more. And behind him, there's a castle on a hill with a fair maiden who the dragon was going to eat, but the knight is rescuing her. And he said to himself, so there. Sister stared at the clouds grumpily. She was not pleased that brother had topped her dragon. Then she had an idea. I think those clouds look like a fleet of pirate ships shooting their cannons at a tropical island with a big fort. There's a little town with houses and church towers and swaying palm trees filled with monkeys, sister said, and added to herself, top that. Brother was upset. How could he top a whole fleet of pirate ships and an island with swaying palm trees and monkeys? He stared at the sky, sulking. But then he noticed something. You know, he said, holding his hands up to the sky and looking through them, if you look at these clouds just right, he squinted at them, they look like the whole solar system. The sun is in the center, then Mercury, Venus, the Earth with the moon, Mars, asteroids, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and the Kuiper Belt with Pluto and... Oh yeah, shouted sister, who was mad because she had no idea what the Kuiper Belt was. I don't think they look like the whole solar system at all. 
And besides, whoa, whoa, said a voice. Hold your horses up there. What's all the fussing and fretting about? It was Grizzly Gramps strolling by. He was out for a walk on this lovely afternoon looking up at the puffy white clouds just like brother and sister. Sister and brother angrily explained about their topping contest. And brother is cheating, complained sister. He doesn't really see any belt up there. He's just showing off. Well, let me see, said Grizzly Gramps. I'll bet I can see things up in those clouds too. He gazed up at the clouds, rubbing his chin. You know, he said, I think I see two faces in the clouds. Where? said the cubs. Right there, said Gramps. They look like the faces of two of the biggest, braggingest fools I ever saw. Who? asked the cubs eagerly. You too, said Gramps. None other than brother and sister Bear. But Gramps, protested brother and sister. Don't butt Gramps me, said Gramps. Admit it. Don't you too feel foolish? All this bragging and boasting about something as silly as who can see what in a cloud? Is that really something to be proud of? Now that they thought about it, it did seem sort of silly. What exactly were they bragging about? Remember what the Bible says, Gramps told them. Where there is strife, there is pride. We'll remember, Gramps, said the cubs. Now you two come on over to my house, said Gramps. Gran will give you milk and cookies and we'll have a nice game of checkers. Okay, Gramps, said the cubs. I bet I win at checkers, said brother. No, I'm going to win, said sister. Cubs, said Gramps. Oops, sorry, said the cubs, remembering not to brag. They walked down the hill to Gramps and Gran's house with the beautiful white clouds floating overhead. If you like that story, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.